there are many conditions that could either cause atrial fibrillation or worsen atrial fibrillation or even make the treatment of your atrial fibrillation more difficult. And therefore, identification and treating those conditions are extremely important. What are those? Being overweight or obese will increase your risks of developing atrial fibrillation and also make the AFib more difficult to treat. Having sleep apnea also increases your risk of developing AFib and decreases the chances of success of treatment, particularly an ablation, and also poorly controlled hypertension. Therefore, treating the patient holistically and trying to approach all these conditions that could affect the atrial fibrillation is very important if we want to give you the best chances of long-term control of your atrial fibrillation. Sleep apnea is one of the most commonly seen conditions in our patients with atrial fibrillation. Not uncommonly, patients have had sleep apnea for decades before they are formally diagnosed. So we should always screen for sleep apnea and refer patients that are at high risk and screen positive for a sleep study to see if they have sleep apnea and treat it appropriately. 